Okay, so let me go ahead and show you around the back end here a little bit. Um, you'll see that there's a few menu items across the top up here. You'll see there's a tutorial here on how to set up your Twilio account and then also explains how the software, how to set the software up, which I'm about to give you right now too. And of course you got a dashboard, which is right here on the same numbers button. So by this point, um, you've got access to the software with at least one number. We sell multiple lines or multiple number packages. And so if, if you just got access to the software, we would have some email communication back and forth where you provided us your phone number and we would set the system up for you and then you would come to this screen where your number's already programmed in here then of course if you bought one of the multiple lines you would have the ability to add additional numbers and you can do that by either managing your own Twilio account or in some cases we actually provide a full service where we take care of all of it do all the Twilio and everything for you but nevertheless you also have a menu over here on the left hand side. Let me explain all these real quick. Right now we're under the numbers section. We just have all your numbers listed if you have more than one. We have the recording area and this will list all the recorded phone calls that you get and voicemails that you get. They will all be listed right here so you can listen to the calls. You have a library here. Now the library is a really cool built in feature for you to be able to create your greetings or your you know instructions when they press one or press two or press three you can record your own messages in there or if you would like you'll see here in a moment where you can use the computer animated voice and and do either one of them you have your my settings button here which is kind of like oh, your admin area your account details if you ever need to change any of this information you can or if you would like to change your password you can do that as well too and then of course you have the logout button so let me go ahead and show you the library first and the reason I'm doing that is I'm assuming that you will want to create your own messages I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these example ones I, I was doing playing around with a minute ago and I do want to show you the library first and how to do the recordings first because that's really cool and awesome features But let me show you one other aspect of it real quick and that is these five buttons here of course the delete button you'll never use unless you're deleting one of your lines um, this right here is a call log with just a quick version to see the numbers that were called and uh, the numbers that called you and, and just to list them the time and date and all that good stuff um, this code right here is a code that is actually installed in Twilio that makes it work uh, this this wrench button is setting it all up and then this button right here uh, you're going to want to just provide it a name that's associated with that number, especially if you have multiple lines. Whether you want the recorded, the the voice animations, if you want it to be in a man or woman's voice, you can change that here. And then, of course, this this product is used all over the world, and we have multiple different languages here um, that those automated voices can be made in. And so, anyway, so I'm just going to save that there because it's already what I want. And then let me come in here to this little wrench button. This little wrench button is where you program everything. And here in just a moment, we're going to go through all of this kind of step by step. Uh, and I'll try to be as quick as I can. Give a few minutes to try to give you all the details. Um, so knowing in advance that I'm going to want to record my own greetings versus using the automated voice system, that's why I'm going to go back and do those recordings first and then I simply can connect those at the appropriate time when we're going through here. And so right now we're on home. It's important to recognize when you're on home or when you're, if you're on some of these other, other key presses, okay? Um, the important part about that is we have the ability to do deep linking and what we mean by that is if you're on home and if, if people dial that number or your number and you have a greeting saying thank you for calling press one to go to this department press two to go to that department press three to go to that department you want to make sure that when you're setting up the press one press two press three that you always come back to home and then you do the second one and then when you're done programming the second one then you want to come back home and then do the third one okay the reason that's important is because if you don't come back to home and you just click on one and set up press you set up that press one and then if you just click on two and go to that press two 
and then if you come to three and press three well that's called deep linking in other words what would happen there is you, people would dial your number and then if they pressed one with inside of that that key press like say it's press one was go to you know my billing department and then you played a message in there and thank you for reaching our billing department to speak to Alice press one to speak to Jane press two and so that's deep linking that's other key presses with inside of a, a hierarchy so to speak and so what I want to do because I've been playing around with these buttons real quick so I actually want to back out of it I don't want to save any of this so let me just hit eh, oh, delete action I'm sorry just hit the big red button right in front of us there huh let me click on that does that let me delete it yes I'm going to click on this and delete it again and click on this one and delete it also so it should be starting from scratch here and so what we want to do when you when people dial the number you have a choice of what happens when that phone number picks up right you can either play a greeting or you can just flat out forward it to a phone number or you can um, have them leave you a voicemail and so in most cases you're gonna to want to play a message now whether that is the automated generated computer voice reading whatever you text in this box here or put it in text in that box or if you record your own file then you'll just attach that file and so let's go ahead and do this this is just an example so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time I would suggest that of course when you're going through setting this up for yourself you go ahead and put all the thought behind it necessary uh, that it makes business it makes sense for your business and so just to try to speed up the pace that we're going on here so this video is not super long I'm gonna go ahead and, and take some some shortcuts um, but I want to try to explain the gist behind it all and then of course when you're setting it up you can go into the full-blown details of exactly how you want it to be okay so and this is where I'm gonna go back to recording my my pre-recorded calls here and then I want you to notice one other thing real quick before we do that and that is once you pick your greeting right people will, will hear that greeting and then we're also gonna set up a couple of key presses and so then basically you leave this right here post action response can end no big deal there and then when if they call right and you have a press one press two press three and the person on the that's calling you pauses if, if they wait too long well then this right here is a message that says hey are you still there and what we typically do at that point is we just copy and paste you know our press one our press two our press three right behind that and that way if they pause for however long you set it this is one second here I usually set it for three or four seconds if they pause for three or four seconds then it will say hey are you still there press one for this department press two for that department and so on and then this box down here is if they enter an invalid number say you have press 1 through press 4 and they enter 17 well that doesn't make any sense to the system so it will reroute them it'll just say hey you pressed a, an invalid extension and you can press 1 to do this press 2 to do that so I'm trying to explain that uh, to hopefully help it make a little more sense and so I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the to the recording or the library now and record a few examples and then we'll come back in and plug those in so under library here I'm gonna hit record hey thank you for calling dial caller this is an example press 1 to go to this department press 2 to go to that department press 3 to go here and press 4 to go somewhere else then you hit pause you name this, this is example one and you hit save and play and it's gonna save it and then it will play it back so you can hear it and assuming you like it you can leave it if you don't like it hey thank you for calling dial caller this is an example is press one to go to this department press two to go to that department press three to go here and press four to go somewhere else Okay, and for now, that's good enough. I mean, I 
you'll understand more about the, the, the structure that you need for your business. And I would recommend go ahead and, and recording all of these. And then it's easy for you to just attach them to it a little later. And so, okay, and so at this point, I would also go ahead and record the press one, press two, press three, press four, however many you got, those messages. So what happens is, is when someone presses one, generally speaking, you're probably going to forward it to somebody else, right? Maybe it's, it's somebody in a department or, or maybe it's, um, you know, a, maybe the, the owner of the company, you want to forward it to their phone number. Maybe you want to forward it to the installation manager or his phone number. Maybe you want to forward it to the sales guys. And so because it's a forwarding action there, you typically, it's going to take, you know, one or two or three seconds maybe. And so while it's that two or three seconds is taking place, at the very beginning of that, um, it will say, your call is now being forwarded to something, right? And so I always record those in advance too. So let's go ahead and do that. Your call is being forwarded to our billing department. And so I'm just renaming it for that that department. Your call is being forwarded to our billing department. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another one. Your call is being forwarded. I reset it because I messed it up. Your call is being forwarded to our customer service department. Your call is being forwarded to our customer service department. Okay, and for the sake of time, that's all I'm going to create for right now. So let's go back into and actually start setting it up. And that is under your numbers. Come over to this wrench again. And we're on the home. Up here's your menu, your, your call structure, tree structure, so to speak. And when someone dials our phone number, I want it to play a message. And in this case, I want to play one of our audio files. And you come over here, click on the library. And I want to attach my first greeting which in this case I named example okay end post action response just end okay I'm gonna bump this up to about th four seconds three or four seconds whatever you whatever you want um, and so in here are you still there press one four the billing department. Press two for the customer service department. Of course, you can make these whatever you want. And it would be press three for whatever, right? And press or for whatever okay I think you kind of get the idea there and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy this because just kind of keeps it straight now you can also play audio files I would say this is another thing I was saying earlier go ahead and record all your audio files first right um, and so on this one right here, I, I should have recorded one that said, sorry, you have entered an invalid extension. Please press one for everything else, right? Or press two and press three. In this case, I'm gonna leave it read as text because I didn't record anything there. And then so from this point right here, I'm just gonna hit save down here, all right? That's about all you, I got my greeting plan. I, uh, after four seconds, if they don't, press one or two or three or whatever they say hey are you still there and then remind them to press it and, and as a matter of fact you can do the same thing here you can play an audio file right which I always recommend just upload the audio file of that and the same thing here 
can do the audio file, which is what I'd recommend. Um, or if you want, if you're not comfortable doing the recording, you can have the automated, so automated voice do it. But long story short, let me get back off of these. This one's text. This one's text for now, and just hit save. Okay, so the very first greeting is set up. Now, of course, we need to go back in and, and set up the press 1, press 2, press 3, right? So at this point, we're on the home screen. We want to come into 1. And so from 1, we'll have a few more options here. We can either play another message. We can forward it to another number or any number of numbers. We can record a message or have them have the person calling you leave a voicemail. Or we can repeat our menu or go back to the previous menu or in the call, right? And so in most cases, you guys will probably use a forward or, um, well, if you're going to set up a, a deep linking, you can play another message to tell them to press 1, 2, 3, or 4, or whatever again. Or you can forward it to a number or you can or have them leave you a voicemail. So in this case, we're going to have them, um, I'm going to forward it to a few different numbers here. I'm just making numbers up. This is 1, 2, 1, 4. Uh, 633 3, 21 31 or something I don't know I'm just making numbers up right you always want to make sure you have the, the 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 plus I'm sorry not the plus but the one in front of it if you hit enter I'm sorry you just click off of that and then if you need it to ring another number so what it will do is it'll ring these numbers simultaneously and the first one to pick up is the one who gets the call um, so for instance if you're forwarding this to sales people um, you know it's you can forward it to ring all your sales guys and the first one who picks it up gets the call right so you can enter multiple numbers here as many as you need and go ahead and continue on long story short so this caller ID function is really awesome I haven't seen it work a lot but I'm eager for Twilio to figure that out this is built into the system although it's in a beta for Twilio so it doesn't work all the time sometimes it does but nevertheless what this will do is the caller ID. So a person is calling your number and especially if you're running multiple lines and you have all of them forwarding to like say your cell phone and you can set up a caller ID here of whatever you want it to be and then when you see that caller ID come across on your phone you'll know that it came from a certain number or a certain business right now like we said that's in beta for Twilio it doesn't always work if you try it and it doesn't work uh, please don't submit a support ticket it's just it's Twilio's working through the details on that now here's a really another cool feature is we have the ability to record every phone call you get and then within 30 or not even 30 seconds heck within 10 or 15 seconds um, after the voicemail is left or, or after the call comes through and is hung up on or you know hangs up you will get an email of the entire message that's recorded right so enter in whatever you want here for your email address right wherever you want this recording to go make sure you click on enable recording here and it will email it out to that email address um, and then this down here is you know say they've already pressed one to go to my billing department and so I can either type in something here for the system to read to tell them hey that's it's going to the billing department or I can attach my message that I made for billing right so pow you gotta click on the word there and then hit save and so now you can come back to home and we're going to set up press 2 and then press 2 this one right here I also want to forward to a number I'm going to forward this one to my customer service number 1214 whatever 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 right just forward into that number um, I can try to set up caller ID again maybe it'll work do my you know I want the email to be sent to whatever you know, typically the business owner's email address, so he can listen to all the recordings. Uh, same thing here. I'm going to click to click to play my f audio file that I already created. This one was customer service. Hit save. And so, because this video is already super long, I'm going to stop there. Of course, you have the always come back to home if you're if you're just doing up your your first home level um, deep or your home level press one, press two, press three, right? And that's pretty much it. I mean, every time you, I'm going to go do one more real quick, come back to home where I am already, go to three. And then, of course, you would have the ability to choose, right? Either play the message forward, you can have them record a message. 
email recording to that same thing, right? This is basically just a voicemail that you would get. Um, recording max, there is a limit on it, um, or no limit on it. It can be as long as you want it. Recording, if they press zero, sometimes at the end it says press zero to hang up. Um, pre recorded message again, you can either type it out or, you know, hey, please leave a. Sorry, no one was able to come to the phone now. Please leave a voicemail or something to that effect, right? And then after they leave the message, you can tell them, thank you for leaving your message. Press 1 to hang up or press 2 to go to billing. Press 3 to do whatever. And then, and then after that recording, you can record another message that's just giving them further guidance. So it's a really robust system here on how it works. You can also always come in here and look at the tutorials. And if you ever have any support ticket questions at all, you're certainly welcome to send us an email for support, and we typically answer those within 24 hours. Thank you very much. Enjoy the software. It makes Twilio so easy to use. You're going to love it. Have a great day.